Okay, last video for this weekend. Now we are looking at phrase two of our test assessment. So let's pick up where we left off. When last we left our intrepid heroes, we were standing now upstage right, looking downstage left. And opposite as we were before, we are now left foot forward on the diagonal, and our feet are nice and wide apart. We are also holding our staff in short form position. To begin, we are going to move into long form position. The first phrase was short form and pipe form. The second phrase is going to be almost exclusively long form. So we weight shift back, sliding into long form position. They pass back and we pass forward and do a shoulder attack, followed by a weight shift and slide, passing step, and hip. So we've attacked shoulder, hip. Now we bound them over in the first phrase, and now they're going to do a bind over on us. They're going to extend their weapon towards our front hip right here. We see that, being the slide doubles we are, and we remove the target by passing back. Knowing they can no longer hit that target, they are going to continue controlling our weapon up over our head. We pass back one more time, and they expel us, and we end up where we started, except now we're wave shifted back, and our weapon is offline a little bit. So they have expelled us, and now it is their turn to attack. I'm going to move forward because I need a little bit more room for the rest of this phrase. So we're right here. They've expelled us. Now they're going to start a series of diagonal cuts, which we are going to evade using cross steps and hanging parries, just like I showed you in the cross step video. So they weight shift forward, I'm sorry, they weight shift back to prep, so we are at eye contact preparation. To evade, I pass back and switch hands, cross step to the left, hanging nine, they attack. Then we recover. I'm still making eye contact. They now prep a diagonal cut in the other direction, so they prep, I start to evade by passing back, switching hands, and cross step, hang five, and they attack. And now for the recovery, I'm going to attack them back. I'm going to take my rear foot, which I do not have weight on, and I'm going to bring it around behind me and in front into a passing lunge. And then this staff is going to cut diagonally. I'm using my hands here as a pivot to crank this at a diagonal and through. And then my weapon is going to end up with my right hand underneath my left armpit, right here. Boom. Let's take a look at that much before we finish phrase two. So I'm actually going to start here instead of all the way back there. Hopefully I'll have the room this time. So left foot forward, short form. Weight shift back into long form, and I go shoulder, weight shift, hip. They bind us over, I take two passing steps, one, Two, and I'm right back where I started. Now we're going to do those evasions. So eye contact, preparation, evasion, attack, recovery. Eye contact, preparation, evasion, attack, and now for recovery, I pick up that left, uh, that right backward foot, come around and attack, and they evade that. Okay. Now let's continue on. They have evaded, and so it is their turn. I'm going to move forward once again. So first, they are going to attack our right flank. So we are going to pass back, put our, our weapon into short form position to parry flank, strong parry. They're in long form though, so when they wait shift back now to prep, we're going to flip the flank parry on our right side as we do in long form, pass back, parry on our left. And I hope you know what's coming. If you watch the pre defer video, we are going to now adjust our bottom hand, bind over into core a core. And to finish the fight, we're going to make eye contact with them and then spot the target 12 inches in front of their face. And we are going to snap the weapon up, boom, right through that space, 12 inches in front of their face. Now what they do, is they just simply react. So their weapon's been neutralized, they're standing here, they can take a hand off of their weapon, and as that staff goes up, they simply react and do a napping sound with a hand on a hip or a thigh. Either hand, either hip, either thigh. It doesn't matter because the audience is looking up here, not down here. Now, real quick safety tip. When you do a reaction to a blow that's going upward, do not crank your neck backwards, compressing these muscles. It's very dangerous and unhealthy and it can give you whiplash. 
Instead, I want you to visualize just looking up at a 45 degree angle and then loosening the neck like a bobblehead. So we just go up and loosen a little bit instead of back compressing. So it's just a slight movement of the head up and loose, and then we nap, and then the fight is over. So let's look at the entirety of phrase two. I may need to move around to adjust the space because I'm in such a small space right here. You're going to have to do this probably outside. The weather's still warm. That's why we're doing quarter staff right now. So don't try and do this in your living room. Go outside. Go to a park, big, wide, open space. Get somebody to film you there. All right, let's take a look at this. So we start left foot forward, short form. We weight shift back, slide into long form, and we go shoulder, weight shift, hip. They bind us over, one, two, expelling us. Now they're going to swipe at us diagonally, we evade. Cross step left, hang nine. Recover, cross step right, hang five. And finally we counterattack, unwinding, cut through diagonally. They have evaded, so it's now their turn. I'm gonna scoot forward. And they attack our right flank, so we pass back, strong parry. Weight shift, flip that flank, pass back, strong parry. Bind over into core core, spot the target 12 inches in front of their face, and end the fight. One more time, just so you can see it. A little bit faster. Left foot forward, in fact, I'll come up here. Left foot forward, and hip. Mm, I said hip, I meant shoulder, let's try it again. And shoulder, Whew. hip, Whew. bind over, boom. And now we're going to evade, hang nine, hang five. Unwind, they evade, and flank, flank, bind over to core core, spot the target, and finishing move. So that is phrase two. Once again, practice, 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 practice. Make it look good. Don't shortchange yourself. Don't flop around. Make it look good. Keep it slow. No need to go fast. If you cannot do it perfectly slow, you should not do it fast. So I'm looking forward to seeing your videos. Thanks so much.